Morning, boys. It's not good. It's not even morning. I brought donuts. Hey. You guys catch a game last night? You're kidding, right? Conway went 70 yards for the touchdown. It was mayhem. Somebody remind me again why I picked surgery. Ah, uh, for Scott Zombie Carter, you're looking very crisp. Yeah, it's part of the uh, joy of moving back home. Raina insists on using the extra starch. Raina? The maid? I haven't had time to breathe, let alone look for another apartment. My place burned down. I've been living out of a suitcase. A Louis Vuitton suitcase. Uh, you might want to dress down for the plumbing accident in two. He's very stinky. Thanks for the carbs. Yo. Hey, your parents live out in Oprah, huh? Oh, don't start. Oh, no, no. I'm just saying. I got an extra bed in my place. It's two minutes away. You got all the cup of ramen you can eat. And best of all, you don't have to worry about the help over starchy and shirts. Are you serious? It's time to leave the nest. That's great. Thanks. OK. I'll see you at the firm conference. Firm conference? That's not next week? Pancreatectomy lecture? Presented by Dr. Peter Benton, assisted by John Carter. Oh, my god. Benton's slides were in the fire. They're toast. Why couldn't I have just been home at the time? I could have had smoke inhalation. I could be sucking air through a nice ET tube. Another modification to the system will be a return to professionalism. We're surgeons. Let's look like it. From here on out, I'm instituting a jacket and tie policy for all surgeons outside the OR. Oh. Except, of course, for the ladies on staff who I trust will dress appropriately. As I was saying, well, so much for the do's and don'ts. Oh, I would like to remind everybody that we're still woefully short on surgical volunteers for the health mobile. We don't see some names on that list ASAP. Carter, you're late. I had to set up the projector. I know, it's been a long time. Look, you can run a projector, can't you? I can't. Right on the table, it's starting. We're a fascinating paper on total pancreatectomy versus the Whipple procedure in the palliative treatment of pancreatic carcinoma. Dr. Benton. Thank you, Dr. Anspaugh. I'm going to be talking today about um, the use of the Whipple procedure in lieu of total pancreatectomy, which is, I guess, what Dr. Ansbach just said. <laughs> uh, lights, please. Uh, pancreatectomy removes the potential for recurrence due to multifocal disease and avoids pancreatico jejunostomy. Now, uh, uh, slide please. If you observe here, the attendant risk of leakage is the... Pap slide one, please. That's, uh, that's what I was trying to tell you. What were you trying to tell me? Maybe I could speak to you alone for a moment. Is there a problem, Dr. Bender? Oh, no, 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 Dr. Hesby, no, not at all. Carter, put in a damn slide. I can't. My apartment burned down. I lost the pathology slides. The tables and the operative photographs. That was two. <sighs> Dr. Benton, I just want to apologize again for the slides. Did you replace them? Not yet. Well, get busy. Dr. Ansbaugh was kind enough to reschedule the lecture for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Is there a chance? Bye-bye, Carter. Oh, the infamous Dr. Carter. We haven't been introduced. I'm Abby Keaton. Pleased to meet you. Uh, uh, this morning was totally my fault. Oh, it was a godsend. May, may I join oh, you? Oh, yeah, please. No offense, Peter. Oh, thank you. No offense, I, I love a nice juicy gut lecture, but your intern bought me an extra half hour for my dictations. 